Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Man of Ooh, achievement. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Welcome to Man of Lords. Man of Lords is an indie passion project, even though it's been seven years, the game still needs more time to be fully complete. So we're going into this sort of dry. I am extremely excited for this. I'm just going to go ahead and make some changes. There we go. Just so that you can actually hear me. Don't want it to be too much. I always have to do this at the start of a new game. There we go, beautiful. Right, here we go. Ooh, okay, so this is my first official look. Okay, portrait. This dude looks... Kind of looks German, but... Yeah, let's have a look-see. Got your typical cross look. That's more of the Scottish look, and that's more of the English look. Um, have a look at these different patterns. Oh, you can have the... That is the German symbol there, and then you've got the little bird. Uh, primary, secondary... Oh, here we go, field A, field B. Um, so we can sort of change all these different looks. Which is pretty cool. I'm just going to mess around with this for a little bit. Because I'm not really... That's sort of like the tie rails from Game of Thrones there. I'm not really too fussed about how things look. Okay, that works, that works. We can change the colours a little bit, see so if that does anything. There we go. I like that, that looks good. That looks okay. Or we can just have it as one big blank thing. That looks a bit better. Yeah. So, primary colour, secondary colour. There we go, make it red. And then we can change the colour of that. There we go, that looks better. I like that. Okay. Coat of arms, name. Okay. Um, well. Just call myself Jakey Mistakey for the sake of it. So there's our portrait there. Okay. Continue. End goal. Domination. Eliminate all other lords by claiming their territory. Um, conquest. Claim all regions to win. Or none. Endless play. Growth, reach large town settlement level to win. Okay. I feel like Domination is probably my type of gameplay. Because I'm used to playing Total War, so. Uh, off map adversary adds an AI opponent located off map. He controls two regions and brings his soldiers to the main game map when challenged. Okay. That's quite interesting. Like a foreign aggressor, sort of. AI aggressiveness. All AI lords may press a claim towards the player's regions after they run out of neutral regions to claim. Let's get that balanced. Um, raider frequency. No more than a single raid every two years. Let's get that as medium then. It's just because we're starting fresh. Raider three years. Two years before raids start happening. Yeah, that sounds fair. Initial bandit camps, one bandit camp present when the game begins, random bandit camps spawn them, so three of them total, starting season spring, so that makes it a bit easier, standard starting supplies, 
armament delivery, a free weapons delivery for militia as soon as the player builds a stronghold and five residential plots. So that will make it easier for me. Just because I'm starting new. Um, town will not grow if requirements are unfilled. And approval. Approval factors have an average impact on population growth. Underground water and weather events balanced. Okay, so yeah. And we're doing an early access map, so this is going to be random. Very excited. Oh my god. The lag. There we go. Oof. That was worrying. A new message. Build up your town, manor lords. Your manor. And when ready, press claim towards regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim is pressed, be ready for battle. I'll unite these lands under my In the Manor Lords, families need food, fuel, and roof above their heads to survive. Supplies in the region panel show how much you have left. Okay. Just scroll out here. So we started off over here. So this is our overall map. Can I zoom in down here? I can. So we need to unite this kingdom, basically. You can zoom in here on the forest. Oh, that is beautiful. I really like this uh, UI design. So here we have some resources. We've got the clay deposits. We've got the berries. We've got wild animals. Stone. Iron. What's that there? Trade point. Cheap goods for import. Okay, so we can get trade because we're on the outside here, and then we've got another trade point here. So if you were like, oh, I think all these guys can, apart from the central place here. Okay, got it. So let's go back down to our camp. Oh, they've got names. Unassigned. Hmm. Time to find a good trait soft. Interesting, okay. Roads, construction, army, map, sleep. Okay. Select visualize your region. After you reach the next settlement level, you will be granted a development point to spend. Unlock development branches to make your region more efficient. To enact policies, you need to rise your administration level by building administrative buildings like the manor. Okay. So these are sort of like development places that we can unlock. Policies we can assign. Uh, okay. Okay, that's interesting. So, let's see. Homeless people's tent. Nothing stored inside. Upgrade to worker camp. I can upgrade that, that's good. There we go, unassigned families. Work on construction automatically. Timber and required oxen to be moved. Villagers will automatically get the ox when they need it. Got it. To get more population, you need to have enough empty burgage pots, and your approval needs to be over 50%. So let's have a look at construction. 
every region in that wall is to the game. meatlesses. Be sure to check all resource deposits, investigate the soil fertility before deciding on the direction of the town. If your region has weak fertility, consider setting up trade early. There we go. We have a little workers camp here now. Family member has joined. In most all cases, resources in Manor Lords have to be physically moved. It can take a moment, so feel free to change the game's speed if you like. Okay, this is going to take me a while to get used to. There is a lot here. So here's the game's speed. We're currently in spring. We can build ourselves a logging camp. Workers that we need to by trees of timber. Ah, uh, here we go. So obviously we want our logging camp to be somewhere near here, I imagine. This is, reminds me of Age of Empires. Here we go, let's watch this animation play out. Um, oh, how do I get, how do I get rid of this? Escape. There we go. There we go, look, that guy's going over to work. Summer's coming soon. Soon. Come on. There's our uh, oxen over here. Very nice. This is going to take a while, I think. Or maybe not. So there's the progression bar. Okay, so... Ah, oh, there we go. Starting to come across nicely. I'm just going to watch this animation just... It looks really nice. Sign a family when you would like to start production. Our human workforce has been assigned by default. However, you can bind it to a workplace permanently. Okay, logging camp. <coughs> Let's go ahead and assign a family. Let's go ahead and get some more wood. I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honour against those who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by the rumours and slanders that some may spread about me, signed and sealed by my own seal. Oh, Hild Bolts von Beringroot. You have no rightful claim to Selvitz and Hofstetten. Uh, I require silver for my endeavours. Your time has come. I'm not ready for that yet. Um, uh, okay. How do I... There we go. Oh, I can drag this. You have no rightful claim to sell bits and top Stetton. So I just drag it onto here then. There we go. Send. Okay. 
anyway, so I don't think they're going to be happy with me. But, you know. I'm going to come back to my storage. Okay, um. Oh, there we go. The trees are starting to fall down. Okay, let's go to construction. Uh, woodcutters lodge. So, logging camp. Uh, workers. Woodcutters lodge. Workers fell nearby trees to produce flowers. Workers transform snows by trees to produce planks. Possibly forest is found. Workers plant new trees in a specified zone. I feel like I need a hunting camp. So if we zoom in down here. Are they... Yeah, that's where all the wild animals are. So I want to have a hunting camp. Um, ideally, I want the camp to be safe here. Yeah, that's that's a good spot, I think. So let's have a little look at this animation here. It's going to be a slow game. This is how I like to play. Here we go. So this guy is going out. I want to watch him hunt. Oh, he's going, he's going. Summer's coming soon. Soon. Oh, there we go. Automatic save. Go and take a shot. Did he miss? I don't know if he got it. You got one. Yeah, you got the kill. Oh man, that's guy's OP. Summer's coming soon. Soon. Don't waste all your arrows, bro. We don't want him going too far. Okay. What else can we build? Construction. So... These are all gathering. Mining. Summer's coming soon. And soon the beating sun. Uh, we can have a forest's hut. Workers plant new trees. Sort of it. Um, I think I'm just going to build one of each. What's here? Hang on, let's have a look. What is that? Clay deposit. Um, okay, let's build a saw pit. And let's build it around here. Just so we can start storing stuff. Oh, that looks really cool. Giant hole. Bit like that. Let's clean that up a little bit.
There we go. We have a full pit. Let's find a family to it. Bloody hell, all these trees are starting to go. We've made a bit of a clearing out here already. Exposed goods. Goods stored here are vulnerable to weather damage, so we need a storehouse. Logistics, granary, storehouse. Here we go. Um, get all our goods inside before the weather gets bad. Looking at it, but family requests. Um, okay, let's have a look. Uh, Saw pit. Summer's coming soon. Soon. Camp. Well, we're getting quite a lot of logs here. We're getting a lot of this here as well. A lot of the meat. So if we go to advance, disconnect from the road network. Um, okay, it's quite interesting. So let's go into construction. Uh, pack station. Use this building. For a better barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region at your command. Rich in post. Soon yeah, I think that'll come in handy because we need somewhere for um, our ox to hitch up. So, where can I put that? Just over here, maybe. Get building, boys and girls. I'm not really going to be attacked from that direction. Um, Is there no one that can build this? Oh, they are building it. I was going to say, it didn't look like they were. Train militia archers. Footmen, spear militia, pole line militia, or higher mercenaries. Do 
brigands. Nice, nice spearmen. Green caps, brigands for hire, battle brothers. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say they're quite expensive. A windmill. Converts grain into flour. Sheep farm. I need to have a look at housing. Settlers camp. Place it. Oh, we can't build that just yet. It's a bit too expensive. Trade. Um, Here we go, residential. We can build a burgage plot. So it provides living space for a single family or two families. Some buildings have four flexible borders. Place four points to design uh, designate an area. The cursor will snap to roads and buildings and create an organic shape. You can leave more space for future extension upgrades. Okay, so let's start the uh, construction. This is probably not going to go too well. Um, where do I want to start? Uh, I kind of want to come out from here. Like here. Small. Oh dear. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. So this is going to be our first official house. Bread. Temporary damp applies, maybe viable for weather damage. Hmm. I need to figure this stuff out. Oh, yay, look, see, here comes the rain at night. That's just going to get soaky. How do I use that? Is it raining all over? What's over here? A destroyed windmill. Exposed stocks get it to us here, see? Told you. So move it then, how do I move it? What can I store here? Stone, tools, five points. Ah, uh, that might be why. Okay, so if I go to construction and go to storage. Generic storage granary. Ah, uh, that's what we needed. Oopsie. Build a granary there. It's very difficult for me to decide what to build in these games. The rain didn't last too long, but I feel like this raid is all going to be damaged, yeah. Change it to high. So if 
I change these both to high, will they construct it more? I hope they do. Yeah, there we go. They're starting to build it more. Which is good for me. region that can currently accommodate. And assign zero, assign five. I might have to, uh, here we go, let's unassign this family. Now maybe they'll start constructing. They're gonna construct it now. Yeah, there we go. We figured it out. Trial and error. Look at that. Come on, guys, get this granary done. Oh no, the rain's coming back. Party is full. Pantry is full. Hunting camp. Uh, okay. So does that? What do I do with this stuff here? Advanced. Unlimited work area. Figure out what I can do here. Oh, there we go. Come on, guys, get building. Oh, didn't mean to do that. What I want is as soon as this is built. There we go, we're moving the food off the granary. Homeless will move to the plots, and if approval is high enough, it might attract new families too. However, families need more than just a space to be happy. assign people to the granary they can start bringing over yeah there we go the pantry is now being emptied hopefully they'll bring over that bread uh, 
Yep, bring it over. Are they gonna bring it? Yep. Oh, this is heavier than it looks. What bread is heavier than it looks? Okay. Bread and meat. Awesome. Oh, that's cute. He's putting it all in there. Build a clay furnace there. What I might do is I might just shift the family constantly from here and then have them build stuff. There we go. This game is very relaxed. It's so satisfying seeing things get built as well. furnace. Saying that, cancel that. I just want to finish this construction over here before I do anything else. The hitching post for the ox. Clay over here, it says. Where's the clay though? Let's just have a look, see on here, and. Okay. So we've got the clay deposit there. If I assign a family to it, we've got the clay. Refuels. Nah. For the meantime, I think what I need is to deal with the homelessness situation. So let's go into housing. to build a well somewhere. Mm, why 
quite a bit of well. There's not any water around here. Heaven. Wooden church. Corpse pit. Um, okay, yeah, let's just keep building some burgage slots. started moving in. That is awesome. Let's start the construction. Don't want any homelessness in my village. I love the music, it sort of gives me the Witcher vibes, especially with the blowing of the trees and the wind and that. Symmetrical. Oh, that's not the right angle. Whoops. It's okay. Um, I mean, it's not the end of the world. You know, it is what it is. Stolen boy, what? Where? Where? Those bastards. Okay. Oh, I don't think they stole anything from me. I think I need to build another storage. If we go into construction, actually, um, what do I need? Gonna build a little tavern over here. See how that constructs out. So this is me sort of messing around with everything, just seeing how things go really. I like the way it's coming along. We've got a couple of we've got four burgage plots. For those who don't know, it was actually things like, I think they were called boroughs or something like that during the um, uh, Saxon invasion around that time. Like Alfred the Great, this kind of, this is the vibe I'm getting. I do think it is a very nice uh, theme to it. I like this medieval theme. What 
he's not dead anymore. Yeah. That's where the people that run the tavern live. Kind of thing. That's where you hitch the horses. Move that beam over there. I like the English accent they've got in this as well. It makes it feel very medieval. I need family started so moving in. Nice. Family members join one of the settlers. We've almost built our tavern. Just give me a hammer and stop being nice to Nice. We have a tavern for people to chillax in. Um, now, what have we got here? No one's assigned to the logging camp, so I need to assign a family to do that job. Uh, so if we go back into construction and we continue building our burgage plots. So yeah, that should help me out a bit with the homeless situation. I'm thinking this is going to be like a small area and then I can expand out more into here. Like this is where the bulk of my settlement is going to be. Here and here. And then we'll be able to expand into here. Let's have a look at how they are doing. Where are they? Wild animals. I can't see them anywhere. I mean, I can see where the bandits are, but I can't see where they are. Smash them and chop them! Yeah, these guys need to be dealt with. Where are the other bandit camps at? So I'm pretty sure there were three. Either way, that's the plan. Oh, settlement level increased. New development points. New message. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlements. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived, and you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve and protect you, your people. However, you, we will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from other lands. Okay, so I need to form a militia. I'll start doing that as soon as I've finished building uh, this little structure here.
looking very good so far. So when it comes to wells, can I just build a well? So if I go construction, uh, go into farming, farmhouse, pasture, windmill. the well. I completely lost it. it Mining. No. Okay, these people need a home. I wonder who's floating away today. It hasn't stopped since the morning. Go ahead and build them a house quickly. So, just build another bur burgage point. Oh, there it is. There's the well. Okay, so I can't build it anyway. Ah, here it is. Here it is. Oh, shit. We've got thunder and lightning here, bro. Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good, bro. Um. Everyone's staying inside. We all know what that means. Yeah, that was staying inside. This one's going out. Where's the other two? do anything while well, this weather's going on. I like fast forward. Oh, they are actually building it. Stocks damaged by weather. Uh oh. Um, going to construction. There we go, we've built a well. Uh, let's go into construction here. And go into... This is heavier than it looks. Ooh, where is that storage? There it is, Nate. Logistics. Storehouse. There we go, let's build us another storehouse. Can I not assign families to these? So yeah, this is how it's looking so far. Um, where's my well? There it is. Stores water. A bit far away from to get to, but... You know, not too far. I just have to follow the road down here. And you're 
welcome to my settlement. Got a hunter's lodge over here. Or hunting camp. Is there a guy in there? No, there isn't. camp for chopping down trees. We've got a clay furnace right next to the clay deposit. We've got one, two, three, four, six burgage points which are our little houses here. New family has moved in. That's good. So who's homeless? We only have four people who are currently without homes that we need to deal with. Very early in development, expect glitches. Okay. Um, so yeah. Overall, I'm loving the look. And I'm really looking forward to uploading more gameplay later on down the line. This isn't only in development, so you know there are still things that need to be added in. But I'm personally loving every second. <laughs> I mean, the animations, just watching the city building, it's just so satisfying. So I do recommend this, even though it's early access. I don't normally get early access games. But as I say, I strongly recommend people support this based purely out of the fact that it's developed by one person over the course of about seven years and this person seems very um, you know enthusiastic and it's his passion project and as I say if we can show this as much love and support then uh, yeah I really feel like this could be something big anyway I will uh, catch you guys in the next one and we'll see I'll give you an update later on and we'll see uh, how my settlement's been getting on. Anyway, peace.